Hi, my name is Ryan with Park Industries Customer Service Support. Today we're going to show you how to dial in the C and the A axis for the Voyager. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to need, in order to dial this in, is we're going to need to remove the shroud, the blade, the hardware flanges. We're going to have to cut some of these zip ties before we close this out. Once I have the bolts removed, go ahead and come over here. We can take our, we can take our, uh, we can take this off first. Let's do that. Usually they'll stay on. We're going to take this water off and we'll set it to the side. Now here we'll disconnect our laser. And then we'll have snip the zip ties right here. And right here. Then we'll unhook the line. Doesn't matter which side. We'll just unhook one of these waters. And then we'll pull this cable up and you can take this and kind of just tuck it up here out of the way. Then take your house in here and you can set this out of the way as well without charging. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually put the flanges back on. When we dial, our, what we're going to dial is our A and C. So what we need to do is we need to have the blade on as well. So, Preferably when you do this, you're going to want the new blade feel, um, especially if you're having issues on an older blade that is cutting. So our next thing is, is now we're gonna do start with our uh, we're gonna start with our A first. So we're gonna go up and down, then we'll do our C and we'll go side to side. So here we're set up to dial the C, dial in our C axis. We're gonna want something heavy that the mag base can attach to that this stays secure and isn't wobbling around um, or tipping on the table. Preferably flat. So old blades, heavier blades will work. Um, the milling wheels for what you use to plane your table down, they work very well. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find a reference point on our actual saw itself, our blade itself. Here I made a point here with the black sharpie that I'm going to use to use for a point to point reference. So I hit the same spot on the blade when I move it across when I'm dialing in my C axis. 
One thing too to remember is we always need to make sure before we start a dial that our C and our A access points are gonna be at zero on the machine. If they're not, we're gonna get, uh, we're not gonna have that a true dial on that. And we're gonna end up trying to correct that back to zero. That's gonna throw our reference points off. So you're gonna go and activate your pendant. To do so, um, you're gonna hold this to start, let go. You would go to your HMI console here and with the key turned, you would hit pendant active and that will allow your pendant to operate. So we're gonna walk our blade in towards our indicator. We're gonna spin the blade with our hand here and we're gonna kinda of get close to that point. And we're gonna just touch off on that indicator so we put some tension between the needle and the blade. Then I'm gonna adjust my indicator to go to zero thou just like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly bring x minus across and I'll spin the blade over that dot over to the other side. And the reason we do the point to point is if your blade does have a warp in it, generally this point to point, it's gonna take that in consideration for that blade warp. So always make sure we're measuring the same point on every blade. So there it looks like we're at about one thousandths. So if we go back over to our computer here, in the manual screen, if I come down and look at my C axis dialing, and it says here, if my tolerance is between zero and three thousandths of an inch, plus or minus, then I can proceed in dialing the A. If it is out of that tolerance, plus or minus three thousandths, then I need to adjust it. And in order for this demonstration, even though we are in tolerance, we will go ahead and just simulate an adjustment. Um, so what I would do then in order to make this correction is I'm going to take and go one thou and I'm gonna split the difference. So if I have 10 thou on the indicator, I'm gonna bring it five thou back, not all the way to zero because it's on a pivot. So in this situation, I'm gonna go, so let's say I'm one thou. Now if you look at the needle, you'll see that I'm at a half thou. So I'm just splitting the difference. Then what I can do now is, is I can come here and I can readjust my indicator to say zero. And I'm gonna slowly walk it back the other direction now. So I'm gonna go X positive. So with that adjustment, we're still technically within tolerance. It's not much of an adjustment. So once, let's say I did go ahead and that is now within tolerance after a major change. The next step is gonna be, and it is listed in the manual here, but I'm gonna go to my setup screen 
I'm gonna go to my advanced setup, password is sunrise, and I'm gonna go and capture my reference point. And what that'll do is shut the system off. And this screen will pop up, you're gonna click through yes, um, and then what it will do is it'll turn the system off and then you just turn the system back on. You're gonna want to re-zero out your CNA if they haven't been, and then what you're gonna wanna do is go back and recheck. So now we're gonna begin dialing in our A axis on the stop. Once again, we're going to want to make sure A and C are zero. If not, manually move it to zero with the A to zero in the manual screen. Now, this one I'm not going to set up or move the machine. We already have it set up just because of how it is. So with the bigger blade on the, like the 18 inch and maybe even the 16, it is a little difficult to get a full sweep of the blade. And if you look, you will have to get pretty close to the bottom of the table. Just make sure nothing's underneath that's gonna get crushed or caught between the table and the arbor. Also, you will have to come off the front of the table, and then it's probably about a quarter inch to a half inch gap between the blade and the table on the back side. Then I'm gonna to wanna to walk my blade down to a point here where I can get a full sweep on the blade without hitting this and getting as close to my arbor flange as possible for the most accurate results and making sure that that blade is truly up and down. So once again, I'm using, I'm using a Sharpie point made on the blade here for my indicator. My indicator reads zero. Now I'm gonna slowly begin walking my blade up. And as I do so, I'm going to turn my blade to get my point towards the bottom. And now I'm in my point. And then I'm gonna look at my reference here. So here I'm five thou, five thou out. That would be considered out of tolerance and this would need to be adjusted. In order to adjust this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my A I'm gonna hold my one thou button, and A positive swings down, A negative goes up. I'm gonna move my, uh, based on my position of my indicator, which shows that this is actually pushed out further than the top, I'm actually gonna tip it down, so I'm gonna to wanna to go A positive. And I'm at five thou, so I'm gonna look for about two and a half. So there I'm at about two and a half. So roughly two and a half. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take my indicator now, I'm gonna re-zero it. Now I'm going to slowly walk my blade down. Once again, I'm going to make sure that I have nothing under my machine as I'm going to bring that arbor pretty close to the table and I don't want to crush anything, a wrench or something that I put underneath it. So there, if I look at the indicator, I'm back at zero now, indicating that that, so from zero to zero, on, on, from point to point, this is now considered flush up and down. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna go over to here, I'm gonna wanna capture my reference point for the A axis. So if I click this, click capture reference point, I'm gonna go into here now and I'm gonna hit yes. 
and it will capture my reference point. The system off will shut off, system on button will shut off. I can go ahead and turn it right back on. And then I'm gonna go and check my work again to make sure that it is dialed in correctly.